good morning last class we have discussed circulation in animals so many topics we have discussed today we are going to discuss about nervous system so listen carefully and learn now we are going to discuss about nervous system what is nervous system a network of nerve cells and fibers which transmits nerve impulses between different parts of the body what is nervous system network of nerve cells and fibers which transmits nerve impulses between different parts of the body this is known as nervous system in biology nervous system is a highly complex part of an animal that coordinates its actions and sensory information by transmitting signals to and from different parts of the body so this nervous system is made up of nervous tissues nervous system is made up of nervous tissues it is formed of three distinct components the nervous system that the, the nervous tissues is formed of three distinct components they are neurons uh, neuroglial cells and nerve fibers so three uh, components are present the first one is the neuron this is the neuron so this neuron or nerve cell uh, another one name also they are nerve cell neuron or nerve cell it is a structural and functional unit of the nervous system so this neuron is the structural and functional unit of the nervous system it is the longest cell of the human body with a length of over 100 mm it is the longest cell so this neuron is the longest cell of the human body the length is 100 mm these cells are highly specialized to detect receive and transmit different kinds of stimuli so these uh, neurons only uh, specialized specialized to detect receive and transmit the impulses so all the impulses this neuron receives and transmit the impulses information is conducted through neurons in the form of electrical impulses from one part of the body to another uh, part so these impulses in the form of electrical impulses so these impulses uh, from one parts of the body to another parts of the body through which region through the through the neuron neuron only conduct the impulses so this is the first one second one is neuroglia or glial cells neuroglia or glial cells so it is otherwise known as neuroglial cells these cells are the helper cells so this glial cells or neuroglial cells are the helper, helper cells they support the neuron more glial uh, glials than neurons so these cells glial cells support the neuron they do not initiate or conduct nerve impulses these glial cells uh, cannot or do not initiate or conduct nerve impulses these are the supportive neurons supportive cells so these uh, cells involved in the nutrition and maintenance of the nerve cells it involves in the nutrition and maintenance of the nerve cells so this is the neuron see these are the glial cells glial cells glial cells different types of glial cells also present so it is a supportive cells then third one is the nerve fiber this is a nerve fiber the nerve fibers are the long slender processes of neurons so this is the nerve fiber it is the long slender processes of neurons so a number of nerve fibers are bundled up together to form uh, nerves so this is a single nerve fiber this is a single nerve fiber so these nerve fibers combine together and form nerves so this is a front nerve this is a efferent nerve understood so three types of uh, tissues are present in the nervous system they are neurons second one is the glial cells third one is the nerve fiber clear structure of neuron objective to learn the structure of a neuron we tend to think the nervous system primarily as having to with stimuli response but it also works to control and coordinate the functions of the body the nervous system is composed of billions of cells called neurons these tiny cells carries the messages of the body in the form of electrical signals known as impulses electrical signals known as impulses structure of a neuron a neuron typically consists of 
four main parts a neuron typically consists of four main parts first part is known as cell body this is cell body first part is known as cell body second one is known as dendrites second one is the dendrite third one is axon fourth one is axon terminals so these are the four parts present in the axon dendrite cell body axon and axon terminals one by one we are going to see now so first part first part is known as cyton or cell body this is the cyton or cell body the cyton is also called cell body or perikaryon or soma cyton is known as cell body perikaryon or soma it has a central nucleus so this is the nucleus it has a, it has a central nucleus with the abundant cytoplasm called neuroplasm this region this region is filled with cytoplasm so that is known as what neuroplasm the cytoplasmic cytoplasmic region is known as neuroplasm the cytoplasm has large granular body called nissl granules in the cytoplasmic region granules are present these granules are known as nissl granules not only the nissl granules some of the cell organelles also present they are mitochondria ribosomes lysosomes and endoplasmic reticulum so these are the cell organelles also present in the nissl granules or cytoplasmic region this neurons do not have the ability to divide this neurons they don't have the ability to divide so in this region some of some more neurofibrils also present so first i told nissl granules are present uh, then mitochondria ribosomes lysosomes and endoplasmic reticulum these are the organelles also present now one more thing that is the neurofibrils also present in the cytoplasmic region so what is the use of this neurofibrils that that transmit the nerve impulses to and from the cell body so this neurofibrils uh, transmit the nerve impulses to and from the cell body have you understood yes nucleus cytoplasmic region okay so all the cell organelles some of the cell organelles also present in that region so conduct the nerve impulses so next part second part that is known as dendrites this is these are dendrites so these are the numerous branch cytoplasmic processes that project from the surface of cell body so these processes project from the surface of the cell body so these are known as dendrites so these dendrites right conduct nerve impulses towards the cyton so these uh, dendrites conduct the nerve impulses towards the cyton the branch projections these branch projections increase the surface area for receiving the signals from other nerve cells so these dendrites receive the uh, signals or impulses from other nerve cells so that is the main function of this dendrites so first uh, these dendrites conduct nerve impulses towards the cyton second one Uh, receive the signals from other nerve cells clear now the third part that is known as axon this region this is the axon region so this axon is a single single as well as elongated slender projection axon is a single elongated and slender projection the end of axon terminates as fine branches which terminate into knob like swellings called synaptic knob so at the end of the axon uh, swellings are present so knob like swellings these swellings are known as synaptic knobs these swellings are known as synaptic knobs 
no now the plasma membrane of axon is called axolemma so a plasma membrane means outer covering so that outer covering of axon is known as axolemma while the cytoplasm is called axoplasm so inside that cytoplasmic region is present that cytoplasm is known as axoplasm so outer the outer region is the axolemma and inside that is known as axoplasm so this axon carries impulses away from the cyton so this axon carries impulses away from the cyton so now the axon may be covered by so this is the covering covered by a protective sheet this is a protective sheet that protective sheet is known as myelin sheet so this axon is covered by a protective sheet that protective sheet is known as myelin sheet which is further covered by a layer of schwann cells called neurilemma so further this myelin sheet is divided into some other layer that layer of cells are known as schwann cells that schwann cells are known as neurilemma together that is a neurilemma now this myelin sheet breaks at intervals this is a myelin sheet this myelin sheet breaks at intervals by depressions called node of ranvier see this is the intervals in first interval second third like that intervals also present so these intervals are known as nodes of ranvier the intervals are known as nodes of ranvier now the region between the nodes are called uh, internode first node second node so the in between the uh, no, uh, the junction or gap between the nodes are known as internodes the gap between the nodes are called internodes this myelin sheet this is a myelin sheet is it so this myelin sheet acts as insulator and ensure rapid transmission of nerve impulses so this uh, myelin sheet uh, transmit nerve impulses rapid transmission of nerve impulses clear then last part that is the axon terminal or terminal buttons axon terminal or terminal buttons at the end of the axon this axon terminal is present or terminal buttons see a junction between synaptic knob this is a synaptic knob synaptic knob of axon of one neuron and dendron of next neuron is called synaptic junction so what is synaptic junction a junction between synaptic knob of axon of one neuron and dendron of uh, next neuron is called as synaptic junction so this information from one neuron can pass to another neuron through these junctions with the release of chemicals known as neurotransmitters from the synaptic knob so uh, during the transmission uh, during the uh, information transmit at that time one chemical releases that chemical is known as neuro uh, uh, transmitters so the junction this junction synapse that junction release one chemical that is known as neurotransmitters have you all understood yes next one is types of neurons so here on the basis of structure the neurons are classified into three types based on the basis of the structure neurons are classified into three types one is the first one is unipolar neurons second one is bipolar neurons third one is the multipolar neurons so these are the three uh, types of neurons so one by one we have to see first one is unipolar neuron uni means only one single 
only one nerve process arises from the cyton which acts as both axon and dendron so this is a cyton from the cyton one nerve process arises so this is a nerve process one nerve process arises from the cyton which acts as both axon and dendron so both uh, it acts as both axon and dendron that is known as unipolar neuron second one is bipolar neuron by Bi meaning two the cyton gives rise to two nerve process this is a cyton it gives rise to two nerve process this side one this side one which one acts as an axon while another acts as an dendron so one side acts as an dendron and another side acts as an uh, axon the third type is known as multipolar neuron this is a multipolar neuron the cyton gives rise to many dendrons and an axon this is a cyton region the cyton gives rise to many dendrons many dendrites are present and another one side axon so the cyton gives rise to many dendrons and one axon that is known as multipolar neurons so these are the three types of neurons on the basis uh, basis of structure now we have to see where uh, these uh, neurons are present so first one unipolar neurons so these unipolar neurons are found in early embryos it is found in only in the early embryos second one bipolar neurons so these bipolar neurons are found in retina of eye and olfactory epithelium of nasal chambers so it is found in the retina of eye and uh, olfactory epithelium of nasal chambers the third one multipolar uh, neurons are found in cerebral cortex of brain it is found in the cerebral cortex of uh, cortex of brain so uh, these neurons are present only in the particular areas have you all understood on the basis of functions neurons are categorized as three types on the basis of functions already i taught on the basis of structure neurons are classified into three, three types they are unipolar neurons bipolar neurons and multipolar neurons this is on the basis of functions the neurons are classified into three types they are sensory or afferent neurons number two motor or efferent neurons number three association neurons so on the basis of functions neurons are classified into three sensory or afferent neurons motor or efferent neurons association neurons first one sensory or afferent neurons these neurons carry impulses from the sense organ to the central nervous system from the sense organ to the central nervous system uh, the organ the neurons carry impulses from the sense organ to the central nervous system number two motor or efferent neurons these neurons carry impulses from the central nervous system to effector organ just opposite here from the sense organ to the central nervous system here from the sense uh, from the central nervous system to effector organ such as muscle fiber or the gland third one is association neurons these neurons conduct impulses between sensory and motor neurons between the sensory neurons and the motor neurons association in between so these neurons conduct impulses between the sensory and motor neurons so on the basis of functions three types of neurons are present have you all understood yes so next one is neurotransmitters neurotransmitters so uh, when i am teaching structure of a neuron i taught this neuro neurotransmitters that is a chemical neurotransmitter is a chemical okay so neurotransmitters are the chemicals which allow the transmission of nerve impulse from the axon terminal of one neuron to the dendron of another neuron or to an effector organ so that is a chemical so in which region produce this neurotransmitter synaptic knob synaptic knob at the end of the axon 
axon terminal is present at the tip of the axon terminal synaptic knobs are present so that axon that uh, uh, synaptic knobs produce neurotransmitters that is a chemical so the main important neurotransmitter is acetylcholine the main important neurotransmitter is acetylcholine so these neurotransmitters allow the transmission of nerve impulse so it allow the transmission of nerve impulse from the axon terminal axon terminal means that is the tip of the axon that axon terminal of one neuron to the generon of another neuron so to the uh, axon terminal to another neurons generon of another neuron okay that is the uh, it, it uh, transmit the impulses so the main important neurotransmitter released by neuron is called acetylcholine acetylcholine is the main important neurotransmitter clear so that is a neurotransmitter is a chemical which allow the transmission of nerve impulse from one axon terminal to another neuron's dendron region okay transmit it conduct clear now we are going to see types of nerve fibers types of nerve fibers nerve fibers are of two types based on the presence or absence of myelin sheet so these nerve fibers are classified into two types based on the presence or presence or absence of myelin sheet they are myelinated nerve fiber number 1 is myelinated nerve fiber the axon is covered with the myelin sheet the axon is covered with the myelin sheet see in this diagram two diagram so this is the myelinated nerve fiber the axon is covered with the myelin sheet see this area this is a myelin sheet so the axon is covered with the myelin sheet so this is known as myelinated nerve fiber second one is non myelinated nerve fiber non myelinated nerve fiber the axon is not covered by myelin sheet the axon is not covered by myelin sheet in this diagram so here this area is known as axon but here there is no myelin sheet so this is known as non myelinated uh, nerve fiber so this is the myelinated nerve fiber this is the non myelinated nerve fiber this myelinated and non myelinated nerve fibers form the white and gray matter of the brain so these two uh, myelinated nerve fibers myelinated and non myelinated nerve fibers form the white and gray matter of the brain so types of nerve fibers two types myelinated nerve fiber and the non myelinated nerve fiber myelinated nerve fiber myelin sheet is present here there is no myelin sheet clear okay